morning, Floss Tube. Today is Wednesday, December 6th. I almost forgot. Um, and I'm, let's go over November, November's update. Um, I didn't get a lot of stitching done, but we had Thanksgiving and cheer and a bunch of other stuff going on this month. So I still have some accomplishments, but not oodles and oodles. So I worked in Pinocchio. I told you I would work on it until I got him done, which I did do a couple other things. But he is done for the month. Well, for November. I finally finished. I rolled up the block. That block here. This one. I love it. There are three stitches missing. And they're temporarily missing, but they're the sections being called done because those are in a color on the floor. Sorry, of a color that I'm running really low on that yellow there. And I apologize for the nails left over from cheer weekend and being sick yesterday. That yellow I have very, very little of, and it's a, a very light yellow and it's it's some of the sparkle in the sun and so there's like some stitches over here i gotta do and i'm not sure i have enough but i think that's the only yellow left i can't all of the others look too bright or too orange there's a lot but look three more sections to do and i'm almost certain i'm gonna go ahead and do that section there um which this has a, a like close-up greenery on the side there. Oh, that would be a, a big goal for December. I may not get it all done, but it might go faster than I think because there was a lot of fractionals in that part with the island and there's a car. So there's still backstitch required on that and some French knots, but we'll get it done. I want to get it done because it's going on three years in March and uh, we don't want to stop because... Snow White took four, and I don't want to, no, don't want to do that. I'm left over my peppermint tea because I wasn't feeling good yesterday or I wouldn't make this video, and I need to dye my hair again. So I did take a break from Pinocchio during Thanksgiving because I just needed something simple. I didn't want to sit down and and complicated after Thanksgiving dinner and everybody left. I really just wanted to mellow out. So I picked up I'm So Thankful from Trail Creek Farm. It's a shame that these patterns are out of print now because I'm really starting to like them more and more. And yeah. But I got this done in four days. Yay. And instead of these two colors were requested. I changed them out for the darker blue, which I couldn't because I couldn't find those two at the time on this one. And it really makes those colors pop. And I added the, the blue green zigzag. So there's a little bit more blue green. But it took me four days if I finished on Sunday or Monday. And I'm in no hurry to FFO it. Hi, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, you shut the door. Okay. I also finished this on my car um, projects. It's uh, from the cross stitcher. I think somebody wants to say hi. Come here. No, we don't want your cereal. I'll put it right here. Come here. Say hi. Oh, say hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Who's that? No, who's that? Sissy. No, who's that right there? Who's that? Not Sissy. Who's that? <laughs> Mama? Yeah, Sissy. Yeah. We're all gibberish because we have three older siblings who talk for us, aren't we? We do have some clear words like football. Football. Yeah. Football. Football. <laughs> Say touchdown. Touchdown. Good job. Touchdown. Touchdown. Say Sissy. Sissy. No, Sissy. Say Christine. Christine. Mm -hmm. 
the daddy. Da -da. Can you pronounce it mama? Da -da. Mama? <laughs> say cat. cat. No, say cat. Where's the cat? Yeah. Well, anyways, this is one of my cars. Oops, sorry. One of the things I worked on in the car, and I worked on it last year, and then we get it done. And this year, I just had to finish all the brown. Um, and a little tiny green, and then that that back stitch. Oh goodness, that back stitch, Doreen, your back stitch is crazy. Um, but if you really just let it go, like, and just flow with it, it's meant to be kind of scratchy and etchy looking. It does look good. It's just, when I was stitching it, you're like, oh, goodness. But now it's just a hang on our tree. I forgot to put it on the tree. Yeah. Don't do it. There we go. Nope. Did He's a little bit more anxious or excited this morning. So I finished that so thankful. And then I went on to something else right away. Uh -huh. I saw I started some twinkling trimming. We'll go get them. And that's what I have so far. I've only worked on this for one day. So probably like an hour. Looks like a little firefighter badge or whatever you want to call it. Oh, I love it. So pretty. But I did the beads, some of the beads already because it's kind of hard not to because you have, I don't know if I can show you another picture. They're just gorgeous. Let I find this. I'm doing the red one, right? Because it's just beads and back stitch and a little bit of cross stitch. It's crazy, but I love it. But then my one of my kids was sick, so I really couldn't focus on doing beads or sitting in bed because yeah, Ethan was sick. He had a temperature and he just wanted to cuddle. And you have to cuddle him. So um, I was doing. I couldn't do that, but. Let me just say, stitching with Petite Treasure Braid, which I have a few games or cards or whatever you want to call of Petite Treasure Braid. This is the first time I stitch with it. It's like stitching with silk. I've already nicknamed it the new silk of metallic because it glides through. I never have a problem with it. I love it. I love it. So... I think Carolyn did this, but I think anything that requires uh, chronic, I will probably kind of give it away. So, with, um, sorry. It's so much easier. And I, I'll, I'll be honest, I think I've only stitched with two chronics. Right. And then while he was in bed, I worked on an old kit from Cross It's Crazy. I mean, this is old. This came from this cross is crazy. I thought I had the year on the outside, but this is probably from like 2014. Oh, the first of 2015, but I think when it was released, yeah, it was released the end of December. Um, so I only worked on that and only like the blue part. I hate having all these UFOs, which I told you this is a year of no UFOs, but at least I've worked on it. But, um, I'm not, not even caring anymore. Like, so what if I have a UFO? If I get it done, I get it done. If I don't, then no, nobody's going to see it. Um, so, worked on those and finished um, Pinocchio just this morning, actually, putting in the last few stitches and all the, the shimmery bits. And uh, ironed it because I don't want you guys to see that lovely ring, uh, hoop ring. So, 
um, next month I want to get the next section of that done and other than that I don't have any major plans for December because it kind of gets crazy kids only have two more weeks of school after this week so I think that's the only time I'm going to try to plan Um, I got the ornaments up on the tree. This is the only thing that's not on the tree at the moment. Um, but I brought all the other things out. The footballs on the tree, the one I stitched, Mill Hill one, and uh, the popcorns on the tree, and all the 12 days of Christmas. And I think I'm going to have the kids look for, or like find, have a game to find all the 12 days of Christmas on there. It also shows me that they haven't disappeared yet because they're tiny. So in true floss tube fashion, as soon as I make a video, I have something else I need to show you. Um, I forgot one thing, which was sitting right there on the table with me, and I'm sorry, I'll try not to show you too much. I am on the bed, because all of the kids are home, and they're all in the living room, and so this is a place I can hide. So you can see, a couple years ago, I did the Star Trek thing with my husband, it's sitting there, and he's a Star Trek fan, and my messy side of the room, messy. Sorry. Um, is my car project that I'm working on now. It's a Mill Hill kit. Um, it's the uh, Music One MH181204. I love this. This is going to be one of those gifts, you know, for a teacher, for the music teacher. I apologize for the thread. And I just realized that's all the light I have behind me. It's turned out really well, and you can't see a whole lot of this white. Maybe you can there a little bit, but it's got a little ways to go. Cause actually, I'm almost done with the stitching. I just have a little bit of stitching here, and then we're off to beading and back stitch. So really, it should go pretty fast here soon. Um, other thing is, I ordered something from Etsy. I ordered two things from Etsy, but this has finished it off. I'm gonna pull it up because I want to make sure. I uh, mentioned the seller properly. It has nothing to do with cross stitch. It's from June Bug Stamping. She's in um, Arizona and she does these wonderful pendants um, that's stamped like metals. I don't know if I can. Things like that. And they are very, very reasonably priced. And the shipping is very, very reasonable. There it is. Um, so I ordered a pendant from her um, to make something special here. I had ordered from another seller, and I had these on my mind for like a, almost a year. I bought it from DIY, your DIY supply, um, large wing and large wing pendant angel wing, and um, I bought this. And again, hard to see. We had a topic a few years ago. Um, and other than that one bare pillow that you might have seen, which usually isn't here, um, there's nothing for us to remember the baby by. So I wanted to make an ornament to commemorate, remember, honor the baby that we never got to know. And... Um, with Junebug stamping, she made this pendant for me, and when I told her that it was for an ornament, she added these two wonderful little glass beads. And you can't read the date. I know it's for kids. It says 1511, which is when it happened when I had all the symptoms and was sent to the hospital. She put a pink and blue glass bead up there to um, honor an atopic baby. So this. It's going on a Christmas tree, and even though it's not classic related, this is definitely one of my most treasured pieces now. And um, when she she sent me a picture of what this is going to look like before I got it, and I was in tears because this is exactly what I had imagined doing for the baby. Um, because there's. I mean, for us, there's not a whole other ways that I feel like I can honor in the proper way. We used to leave our Christmas tree up until January 5th because that's when it happened. 
I was taken down to Christmas tree that day. Um, but uh, this way, that baby is always on the tree every year. It is remembered. So, June bug stamping. I will put a link to her um, thing below because they're from many different things. And I know I'm shaking. I'm so sorry. There's many different things you can do with the pendants. So, and she sent me this wonderful little card. And it came on a regular envelope, so it cost her less than a dollar to mail. I was very, very, very happy to get that. I oh, just love it. So those are the two things that I forgot to mention. And uh, like I said, in true fashion, it always happens. There's always something I need to tell you guys.